What is up guys, my name is Pocketcraft and welcome back to the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Guide. So in today's episode we're going to be talking all about bees, what they are, how they work, what they do, and I'm even going to be showing you guys how to build an automatic honey farm. And so if you already know how bees work and you just want to see how to make the farm, skip ahead a couple minutes. If you look in the description I'll have the time when the farm actually starts. But this right here is a beehive and this is where bees are. If you want to find a beehive, they spawn in areas where there's a lot of flowers. There's a couple different biomes, but basically, just look for areas with a lot of flowers, go to trees, and eventually you'll find a beehive. It's not crazy complicated. Now, sometimes bees will be in here, and sometimes they'll be floating around, around the flowers. I'm pretty sure the bee is actually in here this time. If you go near them, you can usually hear them if they're in there. And I heard one a couple of minutes ago. Plus, I don't see any bees floating around, so I'm assuming they are in here. I hope. And so you can't just break a beehive. If you do, the bees are going to attack you and you don't want that because they'll die. But what you do is you put a campfire under it. And if you put a campfire under it, there's a couple things you can do. If it's been full, you can use shears on it to get honeycomb. You can use honey bottles on it to get honey. Or if you have silk touch, you can just break it and then you can pick it up. And if there's any bees in here, they will actually still be in there. And so just a pro tip, when you're breaking a campfire, you will also need silk touch. And so I should get a silk touch axe to make this easier. But this is how you get bees, and then you can carry them back to your base. And so I'll bring mine back to my base and explain to you guys why that's something that you actually want to do. So one really cool feature of bees is that when they go over plants, they cause the plants to grow faster. And so I put this here just to show you guys. If you could put a bee nest or beehive filled with bees into a crop farm or buy a crop farm or like this in your automatic crop farm if you're following along with the survival guide and then you put flowers over on this side of it then they'll travel back and forth from the flowers to the beehive and they'll pollinate all these crops causing them to grow quicker and so that's one feature of bees that can be really really helpful and can make an automatic crop farm like this one which is already really efficient even more efficient but now let's go over to the build and so for the first build, we're going to do an automatic honey farm, not honeycomb. Honey, we'll do honeycomb later. But to do an automatic honey farm, these are the materials you'll need along with, this could be either be a bee nest or a beehive. You'll need some flowers anytime besides any kind besides with a rose, excuse me. You'll also need a bunch of bottles and you'll need one honey bottle. But that's about it for the ingredients. So let's get ahead and get into actually building it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, like most builds, is get your double chest down here right and so this is where you're going to collect your honey and everything that you need and importantly this design is by waddles and so all credit goes to him but you'll want to first put a hopper right into the chest like that then you need to grab a temporary block we'll just do cobblestone or something put it on top of the chest and then place a hopper into there and this is because we need to make a hopper locking system and so after you do that you can break the temporary block just like that. And then what we need to do is put two blocks right here. Could be any block you want. And then you would put your bee nest or beehive right here. I'm going to wait off to do it for just a little bit because I want to enclose this first because it may not happen in your world, but in many worlds, bees can be kind of fickle and run away really easily. And so I would recommend waiting to put that in or at least bring your bees in until it's a little bit more sure. But then what you need to do is grab your dispenser and have make sure that it's facing towards where the bee nest is going to be right here, right? So after we do that, you need to make a hawker, hopper locking system. And so the way you're going to do that is you'll put two blocks just like this, and then you need to dig out a little bit. And so this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So I'll dig it out really quick and then show you guys when I when it's done. All right, so I replaced the dirt with cobblestone so you guys could see a little bit easier. But this is what you need right here for the first part. And how now to make the circuit, you need to go up here and put a comparator facing this way, then a dot of redstone dust and a dot of redstone dust. And then what you need to do is put in your repeater with the two lines or the two dot stick thingies, whatever, facing towards the hoppers. I don't know the names of those. And then what you want to do is come around and put a redstone torch right here on the block that is underneath the hopper. So the next circuit we're going to build will actually detect how much honey is in the bee nest or beehive. So what you're going to need to do is do three blocks out from the block under where the beehive will be, and then three blocks out from the dispenser, just like that. 
And then what you want to do is grab your comparator and you're going to put it just like this. Comparators will measure how much honey is in the beehive. Then you put your five dots of redstone just like that. And then we need to cut off this block, that avenue or whatever you want to call it of redstone like that. And then your circuitry is actually done for the most part. But at this point, if we were to put honey bottles or normal bottles in here, they would just filter out. And that's what we don't want. So what we want to do is go into the top hopper here and you need to put some placeholder blocks. I would you recommend probably using um, cobblestone slabs just because they're cheap and easy to get, but you could use whatever you want really. And if you put it in a pattern like this, four, four, five, five, I know for sure that it's going to work. So that's what I would recommend doing, but it's up to you. You can experiment with it if you want. And then you need to put a honey bottle right here. And so a consequence of this is there will always be a honey bottle stuck in here. However, it's totally worth it because otherwise the farm wouldn't work at all. And so once you've done that, you've actually finished the circuitry. And so I would recommend probably building up around this to cover up all the redstone wiring so it doesn't look so ugly, but it's up to you. That's your choice. But what I'm gonna do is build a little bit of a container around here. I'll make this look prettier later, but for now, just to show you guys how it works, I'm gonna build a container here so I can bring in the bees. So you don't have to do an enclosed space like this if you don't want to, but I would highly recommend doing it. But it's up to you. You'll definitely want a door or some way to get in here so you can actually access where the honey is going to be coming out of. But now there's a couple things we need to do. For one, we're gonna to wanna to actually bring our bees in here, right? So put that right there so we have our bees. If you don't have two or three, you could breed them. Or if you don't have three, you could breed them so you get more. You could bring some in another way. You'll want to make sure there's flowers in here so they can actually do their thing. You want to be really careful you don't hit them once again so they don't die. But then also, you'll want to fill this dispenser up with glass bottles so it can actually get honey. And now you'll probably want to do more than 20 so you can continually get honey. I'll just start with that. And then you'll want to be careful they don't get out so make sure they're in there before you go in and out of here so they don't escape but that's going to be it for the honey bottle farm and so we'll get into the honeycomb farm in just a second but one quick way i would recommend decorating this i mean it's up to you your world however you want to do it one way a lot of people do it will be with like yellow and black wool or concrete powder and so an automatic wool farm which is also in the minecraft survival guide series might be a good idea but that's up to you so now let's get into the next bee farm now both of these farms are stackable and so I'm going to have this one set up as one that would be stackable and I'll probably end up stacking both of them. I decided to do this one on this side. I want them to have like similar designs but just be on opposite sides to kind of complete the look. But this one right here, how it's going to work is actually way, way simpler. So all you'll really need is you'll need a beehive right here and I realize I'm going to have to expand the walls out a little bit. I'm thinking of probably doing three by three. You could do yours in any way you would like. But now with the beehive here, there's a couple things that need to happen, right? So we'll need a dispenser, of course, to actually shear the beehive or bee nest, whichever one you're using, to get you the material that you need. And now I'm going to have to actually, which is a little bit embarrassing, break that first and then put down the dispenser because you need it to face this way. So now that we got it facing this way, we can bring in our beehive. We can place it like that and then we can grab an observer and we need it facing down just like that. And then we just need some redstone dust on these suckers to get them working. So now they're lined up perfectly like that. Then you can put shears in here. You'll probably want it as full as possible so you don't have to worry about it again. And if you're doing a lot of these, you'll need a lot of wool. So I would recommend looking at my iron farm tutorial so you can get a lot of iron, but it's up to you. And now this process right here is pretty much done. Now you can stack this. I'll just show you guys with one because the process is the same, but you could build quite a few, which I will end up doing. And now the next thing that you're going to want to do is you'll need your collection system, right? And so for that, you're just going to need some rails and I would probably do redstone torches. You could do some other stuff if you want. And now the thing with this is they can go kind of all over the place with where they land. And so what I would recommend doing is just filling in the whole, if it's just, especially if it's a small area like this, probably fill in the whole area with rails just to make it work a little bit better. And so I'm probably gonna have the chest come outside of here as well because I don't wanna have to come in here the whole time. So what I would probably do is fill in just like you see right there with some redstone torches on the bottom. Then you can put your dirt blocks or whatever back here. And then we're going to do a very similar design to what we've done in the past with like the pumpkin farm and stuff like that. 
or we're gonna go around here and we don't want those to connect yet. So that's gonna be a bit of an issue. Maybe we'll break that really quickly and we'll do that. And then we can put that just like that and we'll go out just like this. And now we do need to decide where we want the chest to go. So what I would probably do, we'll break these blocks here really quickly. I'll grab my pickaxe. And so what I think is probably best, we'll need to be careful to make sure that it still goes all the way out, but we want it to lead into our chest so that we don't have to keep coming in and out of here. And now we'll probably want some more powered rails to make sure things work well. And I think this will probably be the best spot for us to place our double chest. And so you'll wanna break out a good amount of space right here. And now you may wanna double chest. I'll just start with a single chest for now because I only have one in here, but you'll update it to a double chest just like that. And then you'll put a hopper going into it like that. And now there is a bit of an issue here being that you'll need this to stop here. So what I would actually recommend doing is you're probably gonna wanna get two hoppers. I went and got the extra materials here so I can just show you how it worked better. So you put a double chest or single chest here, whatever you decide to use, and then you'll wanna make sure you got it going into the hoppers like that. And the reason you're gonna need two of them, the reason I went and did all that, is because you'll wanna put one on top like that so that you can get your system with the minecart with the hopper actually working. And then you'll need a rail on top of the hopper as well so it can unload and load into there. And so now what you'll want to do is you'll place your minecart with a hopper on top of there, have it going back in and forth just like that. And now this design obviously can be changed however you want it within your world. Um, and I just realized I made a mistake here. Really important thing to note, you will need, and this is going to be a little bit obnoxious with that going there, you're going to need a powered rail here. All right, so I've got this fixed now, so it'll go back normally how it's supposed to. And so that's exactly what you want it to do. Now I'm gonna need to get out of here really quickly. I should have planned for that. My bad if I'm a little all over the place here, but uh, trust me, the farm works and it's worth it. So if you can endure a little bit of my me being like this, but you'll throw in now dirt all through here. So it covers up the system that's going on down there. And then right here, what you're gonna wanna do is cover this all with flowers. So if you don't have flowers, you can find them wherever you probably found your bee nest, but also you get them from the iron farm. So you can just fill this area with flowers here and that'll be perfect. And then this is pretty much it for the farm, right? So you're gonna need to cover this up, obviously, so your bees don't get out. And one other thing I would recommend doing is you're gonna have to actually lead bees into here, right? So the easiest way would probably be just to grab two bees and then breed them. And I'll show you, you can move bees over pretty easily just with some flowers and then you can hopefully get them to go into the bee nest over here or beehives. It might take a little bit of time, but you'll be able to do it fine just like this. You'll get them up into here and then you'll wanna build the area. And so that is pretty much it for this farm. I'll finish the rest of it off on my own, but that's how you do this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new, but I'll catch you guys all in that next video.